Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be an OpenGL tutorial in Linux. Whoa. Um, so what I have here is, on the left, is a um, project with very, very basic stuff going on. And uh, on the right is a new directory. Oh, I'm going to make a directory. Sorry for this weird uh, prompt that you see here, but um, whatever. I'll just leave it because it will help distinguish between the two sides here. Uh, make directory. Um, let's say OpenGL tutorial, whatever. And uh, I'm going to cd into that directory, so nothing in there. And um, yeah, so this is OpenGL in C um, on Linux. And uh, OK, so let's get started. I'm going to make a basic um, C program just to get started. So int main, and I like to just, re well, of course, normally you return 0, but uh, just to make sure everything is working, we'll return 2. And um, so I'm going to use GCC, and now we have the a.out binary. I run it, and then I can do echo, dollar sign, question mark, this is bash, of course, and it gives us the two. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to start everything from scratch. I'm going to look at this project, this very simple project over here, and I'm going to copy stuff over into our new project um, and kind of explain it as I go. Uh, one of the first things I do want to do is make this, I have this R, which is... Um, well, it looks, it looks like a mess, but um, it is going to be our sort of compile and run script so that we don't have to type everything out every time. Um, so I'm going to make that vim r, and it's gcc. For right now, just it's going to run main.c. What I'm actually going to do, let's see here. I'm going to move the a dot out. Um, We'll leave it as a.out a for now. We're going to move that to as a hidden file, dot a.out. Dot the reason I want to move it um, is because sometimes you don't realize that your project is not compiling and it's bringing up the window. Um, and you wonder why nothing's changing. It's because your well, it keeps bringing up a, a project, right? I don't want, if the com compilation failed, I don't want it to bring up to execute the binary. Um, if the project, if the compilation failed, I don't want anything to run. I want it to be a very obvious to me that it, things didn't work. Um, so for now, I guess this is enough. Oh, we, we want to run it as well. So I'll leave that for now as my... I want to make that executable. Okay. So I have this L is just a list. I think it's ls L. No, it's ls one. Yeah, ls one, and then um, my prompt actually spits out the the current directory name, and then it uh, gives a couple spaces. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little silly. Okay, but um, in fact, let me just change it. PS one equals. Um, let's just call it. Cut, and we need a thing like that. Okay. Okay. So, all right, all right. Next, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make a window. Let me check out, well, let me just look around in here. I think we'll start with this one. There's a lot going on here. Um, Yeah, a lot going on. This one is roughly the same. And let me just check main also. Main probably has less going on. So, um, 
So this line is commented out. What is it? Glad I forget. Oh yeah, I think. Um, See so here, you have the soil library. Um, I'm not sure that that is going to be what I'm using for this tutorial. I might switch to Glad. Those are it's for image loading basically. I think I, I forget what Glad is to be honest. Uh, I'll check it out later. But anyway, before that, we're going to want a window. Uh, so textures is going to be much later. So um, we are going to need this GLFW uh, library. Um, so I guess that can be the first thing that we're going to copy paste. So let me look at our main. Actually, I want to um, kind of save this, right? I, I want to use git. So I'm going to do git init, git add. Hold on, I don't like, um, let me change this PS1 equals space dollar sign. That's be better for me. Okay, and git at all. I don't know what it just said. Okay, so main main dot c uh, echoes or returns rather. The int two. That's pretty much it. R is a run script. Okay. Okay. Now, um, we want to get a window loaded up here. So GLFW is a library that is meant to handle uh, bring it, creating a window and also the input, user input, the keyboard, mouse, etc. Some other stuff too I'm forgetting to mention, but uh, a lot of stuff. It's going to give us the sort of environment for us to use OpenGL. So I'm going to copy this, and actually that is probably the first thing you want to do is make sure that um, you can at least sort of link this uh, library and have the include and, and not throw any errors when you compile. I'm just going to put a little tab here. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can do that. And below this... Sorry, I'm just going to navigate to this project. And, okay. Bring up this one. So what we're going to want here, I'm going to put in dash L G L F W. Um, obviously, you're going to want to install GLFW on your system, so I recommend going to the website, GLFW, uh, following the instructions for Linux there. Um, it's going to get it on your system. Alternatively, depending on your Linux distribution, there may be a package that you can install. Then you need to find it on your system, so probably do sudo find uh, to, to find it on your system and to include it with the correct path here. So you're going to need the path and then you're going to need this the correct um, uh, instructions for your linker in the compilation step. And so let's see what happens when, we're, when we run this. No errors. I run it and well, it's just going to tell us, uh, yeah, that uh, it's going to return to is all it's doing for now. So um, we don't have a window yet, but since we didn't run into er any errors, hopefully that's working. Uh, if you need more help figuring out how to use a library like that, um, just leave a comment. I uh, respond pretty quick. So um, then we have, yeah, we're okay. It's going to mean that C. We are probably going to want the uh, S. TDIO, standard IO, standard input output. Um, I don't think I need quotes. I'm just going to do it like this. Um, I'm not going to include the text, uh, the image library. I'm not going to include that. Um, screen width, screen height. We'll, we'll see. I'll probably add that later. But uh, we're going to need this GLFW window star window 
Okay, that's going to be our window. Um, so some of this I'm just going to kind of copy. Hold on. Copy in there. Um, I'll probably put a link to the source code in the description. Let's just, let's see, maybe I can just copy a bunch of stuff here. Hold on. It's a pretty basic little application here, so... Uh, copy and paste. Amazing tutorial, right? Just copy paste. Um, but I'm going to explain stuff. I mean, it's pretty straightforward for the window. It's just a question of getting it there. Paste. Um, so it's going to basically start GLFW with this init thing. It gets a status. Um, I guess ideally you would sort of do a try catch type of thing and, and print out the status. But uh, I guess I'm too lazy or I don't know. I, I don't care right now. Um, sorry, this is not the perfect tutorial. Uh, window equals, and it's going to create a window. So here we have the screen width and screen height. So we're going to need that. I'm going to copy that over. And this doesn't really matter where. Make sure, make sure you're in insert mode. All right, GLFW window. So then it. Um, Yeah, it checks that the window exists, and if it doesn't, it um, prints an error message. Let me just move this over. Uh, it clears color to the specific color. It does some other clearing um, that you probably will want. Later when we add stuff here, um, we're going to first want to clear this. I'm not totally sure I'm going to keep this like that, but... Um, and GLFW poll events is kind of getting the input from the user. And then we swap the buffers because that's how OpenGL works, right? It uh, sort of draws to a buffer and then swaps it once it's complete because that, that stops the user from seeing something that's half drawn. So this may be good enough to show a window. Let's try. No. <clears throat> Something wrong. What is wrong here? Blah, blah, blah. GL clear color. So it looks like the library is not loading correctly. In fact, I think I have the wrong um, path for the, my library. So I'm going to pseudo find type d i name glfw. And I need to search somewhere, search my system. Okay, so user include glfw seems fine. glfw dot three dot h. Maybe I'm missing. Yeah, I'm probably missing something in the compilation, in the linking. So I'm going to l right l g w g l sorry. Also, um, yeah, probably I want. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to add, so the LM here is uh, for the math, math.h library, which we're not using yet, but I will be using later. I'm just going to add all of these in here. And uh, if you really want to um, be perfect, you can try getting rid of some of these, but um, let's see if this works. Okay, so yeah, this is what we wanted. Uh, just for demonstration, let's try changing the color that we're outputting there. Um, what shall we do? I don't know, it doesn't really matter, does it? But um, Let's make it something quite red. F, you don't really need the F, pretty sure. Let's just get rid of those C, make sure that that's okay. Um, 
F, of course, designates float, but I, I don't think you need that. Let's make it only a little green, and let's make it uh, a little bit blue. And R again. We got something uh, fairly red, kind of pink. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this first video. Uh, just getting a window up and coloring it. Uh, next, we want to make a triangle. And uh, yeah, starting from scratch. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you found this useful, uh, like and subscribe, I guess. Uh, that's about it. See ya.